Hey everybody, it's TK Brooke here, and this is my list of top 10 books for writers. So if you are a writer, an author, somebody who's looking into getting into writing, um, these are the books that I would personally recommend to you. Just a quick note before I begin, these are not gonna be presented in really any particular order apart from number one. Without any further ado, let's begin. Number one, the number one book for all writers that I recommend to everyone and anyone who is any kind of creative or artist is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. This is a must read. If you have not read this yet, you need to read it like yesterday. Number two, 2K to 10K by Rachel Aaron. This book uses, uh, she teaches the exact strategy that I use, which was how I was able to put out like a dozen, over a dozen books within like a five year period of time. So if you wanna learn um, how to be more productive and more efficient with your time as a writer, 2K to 10K by Rachel Aaron is the book I would recommend because that is the strategy I personally use. Number three, this is sort of a collection of books, but Writer's Digest has these everyday life in guides. So I have the Writer's Guide to Everyday Life in Colonial America. I also have the Writer's Guide to Everyday Life in the Middle Ages by Sherilyn Kenyon, and that book has been invaluable. But they have all different kinds of eras, um, such as Regency or Wild Wild West. So if you're writing any kind of historical, you definitely want to check out the Writer's Digest Writer's Guide to Everyday Life in blank. Some of them aren't in print anymore, but you can find used copies really cheap on Amazon. Number four, The Courage to Write by Ralph Keats. I actually have this one. So The Courage to Write goes over all the usual fears that writers have around writing and, um, and how their writing may or may not be received. If you are afraid of criticism or afraid to put your stuff out there or if you've experienced some stuff that makes you afraid to write or publish again, that's definitely a book that you wanna read. If you are suffering from writer's block, this is your Bible on Being Stuck by Lorraine Herring. This is the gentlest, most meditative and holistic approach to, it, it's almost like a spiritual experience reading this book. By the time I was done with the prologue, I was bawling. The whole book really helped shift my perspective on um, understanding and seeing my writer's block as a good productive thing that was just simply letting me know that there is a problem that needs to be fixed and can be fixed. Moving along with that writer's block theme, we're getting into more intermediate territory with my next two recommendations, but I'm gonna say my number six and seven are the Dear Writer books by Becca Syme. The first one is called Dear Writer, You Need to Quit. And the second one is called Dear Writer, Are You in Burnout? Again, both of these are usually for people who've been writing for a little while, probably have a couple of books out already. It's okay to read them, I'm sure, if you are just getting into it, but you're gonna find it's a lot more relevant and applicable to you if you have a little bit of indie publishing experience under your belt, or a lot. Her books give such a unique insight on what writers are doing wrong, what we need to stop doing, things that we need to question. But also the book on burnout is really important. So again, if you have any kind of writer's block or stumble into that, you might also wanna check out Are You In Burnout? Number eight, I wanna recommend sort of a twofer here. These are two books by Lisa Crone. The first is called Wired for Story, and the other is called Story Genius. Especially if you're a new writer, or if you're unpublished, or you're not sure why your manuscript keeps getting rejected, these books talk about what makes a story interesting and unputdownable, as opposed to just being a continuum of things that happen to the main character. So they really tell you the significance of story, why stories suck us in, and how to tell a good one. And spoiler alert, it has nothing to do with technique or grammar or technical skill at all. It's really all about the story. Those are the books for you to pick up. And number 10, again, this is more for historical fiction writers, but Medieval Underpants and Other Blunders is the title, pretty memorable, by Susan Elaine. And she is a little blunt, a little snarky, which rubs some people the wrong way, but I found it a hilarious and refreshing guide to what not to do 
when you are writing historical fiction. And all kinds of little known things that maybe we as modern people wouldn't realize. So if you're an historical writer, definitely check that one out along with the Writer's Digest guides. I have a couple of runners up just for anybody who wants to do a little more reading or add a couple more titles to their TBR. The first one is Deep Work by Cal Newport. And this one is really for those of us who are struggling with distractions from things like our phones and social media when we wanna be writing. And this book stresses the importance and the how-to of really going into yourself and unplugging and doing literally the deep work that needs to be done in order to write a story. The second one is Pathways to Bliss by Joseph Campbell. This is more of a philosophical approach to the artist, but I just found it to be a beautiful book that will really resonate with writers. If you are a beginner, 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 you're somebody who like is thinking about maybe wanting to get into writing, but you're not entirely sure what it's gonna take or what that's gonna look like, I really recommend The Courage to Be Creative by Doreen Virtue. It's a very beginner book. You're probably gonna find it boring if you're already writing, but if you wanna get into writing, um, The Courage to Be Creative by Doreen Virtue is a nice, simple starter's guide to sort of get you motivated. I know a lot of people also like and um, group in with that one, Big Magic by Liz Gilbert. Elizabeth Gilbert's, uh, while I love her TED Talks, her books and her writing style are really my style. It didn't really resonate with me, but some people have found Big Magic to be very profound and insightful for them in their writer's journey. So I thought I would just throw a shout out there. And then lastly, and this is like super niche and has to do more with marketing, if you want the definitive guide on how to run a newsletter slash mailing list and engage with your readers through email as a writer, then you definitely need Newsletter Ninja by Tammy Labreck. So those are my top books for writers. Please leave a comment of um, any books that I missed or forgot or definitely should read. Tell me your favorite books for writers, the books that helped or inspired you. I will see you all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.